Hello, my name is Brenda Perez and I'm one of Risers and I am studying at UDC, the University of the District of Columbia. I'm a civil engineer major and I'm also a community activist. Other shows like that. The difference yeah. between Risers and Dreamers. Yeah, I think Why the, the distinction? distinction? Okay. Yeah. So for Dreamers, people have done, those, those are our parents, you know, there are older generations. There are older generations and they have done amazing work, but right now they're running out of Energy. And they have kids. There are youth that are coming into the United States, and we're not dreaming anymore. We're rising. We're stepping up to the plate. We're taking what they left behind, and we keep on pushing forward because we know what it took for them to get to that point. And now it's our turn and take it a step further. Um, and then this has also led you to think about growing up as an English language learner. And so, what are the things you want to see change for students that are having that experience? So, I really want to see a high school, a school, just like a, a public education system in general that can help English language learners because D.C. Was one, it's a district that promised that no matter what uh, level of your, your English is, you're still going to be successful. But it's something that they have not accomplished. These are broken promises that they're doing. So we're trying to push forward so that the public system can be fixed and not just... Um, have charter schools put in place or other private institutions come into these, these cities. We feel comfortable with the public education system. That's ours. We're paying for it. So we should be able to get uh, or at least have them um, give us what they promise, which is a quality education for all, no matter where you're from, your skin color, your English language level. That's great. And my last question is, when you did the movie, you came from this activist background. Did the movie change you? It didn't. I'm still, I started and I ended up the same way. Um, did it still, open up anything else though? It, it, it actually, it really did. I used to be a really hardcore activist, just like say uh, the man push forward, but after learning that there is a more aesthetic way to view things, a more consumable image, then it becomes for people, it becomes easier for people to digest these issues. So sometimes you don't have to be so tough on people. Sometimes you have to realize that it's not their fault so much. They just don't know. So you have to give them like little by little these little pieces of the of a much bigger issue that there is out there. That's excellent. I'll ask one more question, and then I'll let you go. And go. So you're, you know, you, um, you're heroic. I mean, I, I feel, I see you as a, you know, that that person that's gonna lead a, lead this campaign. How old are you? I'm, I'm 19. <laughs> so you're just beginning. I'm just. Beginning. Who's your hero? Who do you? I think, I think the two people that I most look up to is my grandmother and my mother. Because they have done amazing stuff for us, or for their families, for their siblings. They have taken big, the biggest risks that you could think of. Coming in here to the United States as an undocumented person, coming in from a rural area to an urban city, not knowing uh, the lingua franca of the country. Maybe you just know your indigenous language, but you just come because you have that drive, your family, you want to help your family, you know? So. I think those are my biggest heroes. They have the people. They are the people who told me to not be scared of anything, because you need to keep in mind that in the end, it's going to be for your family, for the well-being of your family. Good model. Oh, 